a subject rather near and dear to my heart is uh, is uh, well being of animals, and I'm talking about the ones that people eat. Uh, I'm not going to be. I mean, I I I'm a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. I started as a vegetarian, became vegan very quickly, where uh, I you know refrain from from animal products. Now, this is not a promotion of of uh, I try not to you know any leather I might have. The only leather I have remaining are very old um, guitar straps and such. And I, I try not to buy any uh, animal products. Products weave together, you know, leather, suede and such. But here's the deal. People, a trillion animals a year are, um, you know, raised, tortured and, and slaughtered for human food. Right? And again, there's no, there's no real reason for it. It does have a, an environmental effect. You heard about car, cow farts and all that stuff. That's not really the, the, the driving force why people should become vegetarian, but vegan. But, uh, but be, for, the, for the love of the animals, right? How, how is it that, let's just look. So Burger King, Burger King has launched a vegan Whopper. Nobody can tell the difference, really. Wow. So let's read about it. Burger King is trailing is trialing a meat-free version of the famous Whopper, rolling out the new Impossible Whopper at 59 restaurants in St. Louis. Hey, if you're in St. Louis, give it a bite. Let me know. I'm curious. The meatless burger developed with Impossible Foods, a California-based company that makes plant-based substitutes, is designed to bleed like a conventional burger and use genetically modified yeast to produce hem a protein that mimics the flavor of meat. Some of these flavorings are, are fantastic, right? You can't tell the difference, right? So, so the, the point, the, 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 the first point is that why would you eat a burger that causes the enormous suffering of a cow and, and, not, uh, and not, you know, why would you choose that when you don't have to? Right? That's, that's the, the most obvious one, right? Well, you just don't give a shit. You're just a cold-hearted bastard and... And and humans are carnivores, and 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 they were put here by God for us to eat. Yeah. Burger King insists the new vegan alternative tastes as good as the real thing. Christopher Finazzo, the chain's North American president, said, "We've done sort of a blind test uh, with our franchisees, with people in the office, with my partners on the executive team, and virtually nobody can tell the difference." That's impressive because I've had some some really shitty uh, veggie burgers that don't taste like they don't taste like meat. They taste like something else. I mean, I've had some so far some sausages that seem to replicate meat. But I, I as a vegan, as a vegetarian, I don't strive to eat foods that taste like meat because there's so many alternatives. There's beans. There's a hundred kinds of beans and you know fifty different varieties of rice and. And uh, I don't know how many nuts, ca- I buy cashews, almonds, pistachios, there's a million different kinds of nuts, forms of protein in every food. Burger King insists the new vegan alternative tastes as good as the real thing. All right. We've done, oh, I just read that. Uh, Burger King has offered a veggie burger for years, but the difference between the veggie option and the new no meat Whopper may be that meat eaters are more willing to try it. The chain says it, is, it will uh, still put mayonnaise on the uh, Whopper's twin and claims the vegan patty is not for vegans only. <clears throat> mayonnaise is eggs. I don't eat eggs. I mean, eggs are, you want to talk about, you know, one of the most tortured creatures, you know, on the planet is, uh, you know, chickens living in cages, forced, you know, to lay eggs in the dark. You know, the, the, the egg industry is, is, is bismal torture for chickens, right? And so is the cow, you know, manufacturing, you know, uh, cows, the, the, uh, the rye, the milk, the, the, the dairy industry where, where uh, dairy cows are, you know, enslaved their whole, whole lives. They're kept in constant, uh, perpetual pregnancy where they're, they're raped from behind with a giant fucking giant plastic dick full of cow sperm. And uh, kept, you know, kept pregnant. And when the when the cow is born, if it's a male, whatever the cow, whenever the cow is born, they rip the cow away from the mother who carried the baby for nine months. And um, the the cow cries out for the baby. The baby cries out for the mother. 
and ultimately the the calf is shot and and the, if it's a male there's no use for it on the dairy farm and it's usually sold for about ten dollars for veal white castle the u.s uh, burger chain uh, now known for tiny square sliders um, currently sells the Impossible Burger product in more than 700, 270 restaurants, and the chain has reported better-than-expected sales. Impossible Foods is at least one major competitor beyond meat. Uh, so it's a big industry, right? The in an initial public offering, whatever. So it's it's looking really good in terms of money. So get your greed on. Get your greed on and get your get your... McDonald's, get busy, man. Get just fucking get a fake burger going, man. So so and and slowly phase out the the killing of the animals already. Please. Enough already. Uh, what else does it say? Genetic what it is, here's here's the thing where I would I, I would think that more research, I'm not gonna say it's a bad burger, but more research in this area should be done to create foods, um, you know, human foods that can sustain human life that are healthy, right? Make it out of soy, out of various beans, whatever, whatever. Come up, get busy, and start to invent new food groups. Right now, this burger is uh, genetically modified yeast, uh, uh, a lack of organic ingredients, processed soy, and a high saturated fat and salt content have concerned some critics. I'm not going to get into that, right? There's other ways to, to manufacture foods that are not harming animals. So get busy, right? It's a growing industry, $10 billion in the next five years, all right? So I love it. I absolutely love it, right? So, but beans are, beans are, beans are bad. Check this shit out, man. Check out this. That's just fucking commercial. That's just. <laughs> Hold on, let's start again. I don't know what was the volume off. Oh, yeah, the volume's off. Watch, watch, watch. That's just, you're going to love this shit. The big beans. It's a great commercial, right? So that is a little humor, but but here's 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 more reality. I'll, I'll let you go on this. I just want to play it out. They are so furry. Look at the face. You're over here. The there, there's there's so. I mean, anybody who's ever been on a on, in a sanctuary where rescued animals, uh, and you get close to them and you get to know them, they're just. I mean, cows are one of the most congenial animals on the planet, and and. Um, it's just it's just not right. If you want violence in the world to stop, if you want to, you know, aggression towards other beings, other humans, maybe start with the food chain. It's just a thought. The, climb into the, cow area. the thing about um, about giving a cow a hug is to try and really like experience it, you know? So I like to like put my my face on her <laughs> and smell her. And she's so warm. And then be able to to really hug her. And like put your put your soul into it. Go ahead. <laughs> the first time I hugged a cow I apologized. Because I didn't know. She looks like she liked it. You can't have a bad day and hug a cow, you know. <laughs> but I, just that realization that you know this animal in front of me would have been cut into pieces is, is just crazy to me. She wasn't leaving. She just wanted to. Better <laughs> she was like that. <laughs> like I've seen cows before, but only in barns where they were together, just being bred. But here, they it seems like they have a nice life. So you don't ever think about animals like that that they could. They have a right to enjoy their life as well. well so it's just not like a. They have. It's like they have a personality oh, here. Man. Yeah. And it's just so sweet. It's because I wasn't raised to see animals this way. 
I, I wasn't. It was just all swept under the rug. So it was really, really eye-opening to come out here and just bond with the animals a little bit. It's a lot different when you're, when you're meeting them one-on-one -on -one and you're able to just make a physical connection and I'm not just ordering something out of a window <laughs> of a drive through To me, they feel like giant dogs. Like the way that you would welcome a dog in your home and you, obviously you wouldn't think of your dog as meat, it's a friend, it's a, like a soulmate almost. I'm get, definitely gonna try not eating it because I know I'm gonna feel horrible and I'm gonna dream about these animals like looking at me or something. I think it will definitely have an effect on my eating choices. Um, it's definitely like, giving me a lot to think about. And I think I'm gonna leave here and try out veganism. Yeah, I might even look up some recipes after this, <laughs> figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. So I'm excited, it's gonna be great. So that's a great service, right? A great service announcement, right? So, I mean, I could play all the, the I mean, I can't watch the slaughter videos anymore and I'm not going to start again and I'm not going to, you know, expose people to that. But if, you, if, you, if you're in doubt about the, the need for a, a vegan planet to, uh, you know, to bring down the violence that we see in the world, right? to bring that back down to humanity, right? Uh, a loving, a loving people. Right? Watch some of the slaughterhouse videos and watch the 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 atrocity that goes on on a daily basis in, in the slaughterhouse. How how animals are pushed into the killing killing chamber, one after another. They smell the blood. They hear the screams. They see the terror in the in the in the other animals' uh, uh, eyes and and in their voices. They watch their friends get slaughtered. They have friends. They 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 bond. They meet people. There's there's something not right about it. And I commend. Um, I I didn't I, honestly. I never thought I would see the day in my life where this kind of messaging would hit the mainstream. And uh, I I don't know. It's a good thing. It's a good day. Thank you, Burger King. Uh, thank you, uh, White Castle, for coming into the modern age. Hopefully, McDonald's will take take uh you know take aim at the vegan market and um and maybe we'll we'll move towards a, a less violent planet a less uh a less hostile planet you know towards other beings marcus conti reporting <laughs>